Hey, Colorado Springs, Craig Tarasa, a licensed real estate agent and the team lead for the A-Team agents at Pink Realty. And with me as always is... Jessica Holling, and I'm his assistant and agent in training at A-Team Agents. Okay, so, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Today, today we're actually going to go over um, eight reasons why you should own a home. And the first one we'd like to go over is your tax benefits. Um, you can deduct a lot of uh, your mortgage interest, um, your property taxes, all of that on your taxes. Yeah, and even like the purchase of the home, a lot of times right. there's you know, costs involved there that you can also write off mm -hmm. you know, uh, with your taxes, so yeah. it, it's great there. Uh, next one, this is kind of a big one, is appreciation. So historically speaking, you know, houses, we've seen strong, steady growth right. over time. Now, there are times where you know, we have dips and it's not like year over year, but over the long haul, properties typically go up in this country. Um, so if you look at some statistics from the National Association of Realtors, they've actually looked at like the median, the median house costs and prices from like 1972 to 2014, I think is when the stats were, have just seen a 5.2% growth. Now, remember in that time frame, there's been a few downturns. There's yeah. been some crashes, some big, some big downturns, yeah. and we've still seen growth. Um, matter of fact, the values are, you know, right now they're they're kind of looking at 7% accumulated growth right. growth over time. Um, and like I said, the stats are a little bit old, but I can pretty much guarantee you the last few years, especially in Colorado Springs and really Colorado, we've seen right. house prices go. So it's probably higher than 7% actually. Right. Um, and then the great thing is, is, you know, they're, they're, the government is looking at an increase in U.S. households. So that means, you know, over the next next 10 to 15 years, so that means more people needing to buy homes. So I think the growth is just going to keep going and right. going. <clears throat> yeah. And also <laughs> equity. Equity. When you pay your rent yeah. um, for an apartment or another house, you'll never see that money again. Whereas if you're paying your mortgage, you're going to see that money when you sell your house. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have uh, actually a recent uh, seller... I want to say, I want to say they're like they they bought last year, and I think they're making thirty or forty thousand mm -hmm. um, dollars. And they and they bought it last year, yeah. and they're and they're still selling it after paying all their costs and fees and closing costs. They're still making money yep. after a year, so pretty pretty incredible investment on their on their part. Right. Um, next thing is is you know kind of think of it like it's an automatic self made savings plan. Right. Um, which kind of goes to my last comment as far as like people. So, you know, generally you can take up to, I think it's 250,000 for single, single persons and 500,000 yeah. for married couples where you can, you know, take that, you know, you don't, you don't get uh, capital gains tax. So right. if you sell that home for a major profit, mm -hmm. I had one that made over a hundred grand. Yeah tax-free because it's their primary residence so they don't have to pay the tax on it which yeah. is fantastic can you yeah. imagine the hit you'd, you'd get on that oh my gosh <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> all right what else <laughs> uh, predictability um when you buy a house your lender is going to give you a mortgage payment and that's what you're going to pay um yeah. also yeah typically it's going to stay the same right whereas with rent <laughs> prices most of the time you rent from an apartment or even a house they're going to change that Rent yeah. price at least a hundred, hundred fifteen dollars every year. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, we watch it all the time. They, you know, rent rents go up right. year over year, typically, <clears throat> uh, in your average typical year. Right. And then your your, you know, your costs might actually decline. Overall housing costs for the market might actually decline. Right. <laughs> However, you're also going to get your property taxes and yep. insurance and stuff that's going to increase. It right. may increase. Yeah. So like the while your mortgage stays the same, right. yeah, your your insurance and things like that, they're they're probably going to change over right. time. So very good point. Very good point. Um, freedom, 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 freedom. We love freedom in this country, obviously. Yes. <laughs> and what we mean is, you know, if you want to put an addition on, or you want to paint a room, or change carpet or put a hot tub in, whatever. I mean, you, you get to make it your house. You get to put the types of upgrades that you like, not what your landlord says is okay. Right. So, plus when you're doing it for your landlord, like your landlord's benefiting exactly. instead of you. So you're this way you're, you're hopefully making that equity go up. So, right. Okay. And also stability. Stability is a good thing for families. Um, uh, you, you buy a house in a neighborhood and you get acquainted with that neighborhood. A lot of neighborhoods have have community centers or where you can meet people and yeah. and your children get benefits from staying in a house for a long yeah, period of time. Yeah, because typically, if you well. buy, you know, the, the stats show that you you stay there longer. You know, right. rents like oh, you get sick of the landlord or something, right. but you stay there, so you have that 
you can build that good, strong community with your kids, right. schools, all that fun stuff. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so the, kind of the final one, number eight here, is low interest rates. Right now, they're the lowest I've seen. I've talked to my lenders. They're just like, man, rates are awesome right now. They're incredibly low. And, and again, talking to my lenders, they're talking about, we're expected to keep those rates, you know, for the next eight, uh, not eight, 12 to 18 months is what I was trying to say. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you know, obviously I'll do it right this second, but if you're gonna do it, jump in there and, and get on it before, before, you know, those rates, they go up. You, right. know, you, want, to, you want to take advantage of that. Um, and a lot, there's kind of a myth out there of how, oh, I'm not ready or how difficult it is. One, that's what we're here for. We'll right. help make that process as easy as possible. We'll get you with a lender to get qualified. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Pretty it's easy. a lot easier than you think, especially yeah. when you have a realtor in your corner mm -hmm. helping you out. Mm -hmm. our, our interest rates <laughs> when we bought our house was 2.75. I mean, can you imagine? Yeah. People in the 80s are like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. they're paying, I think 10 or 15 percent. Something ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. So um, something we talked about earlier was you know rent to own. So maybe you call us, you want to buy. Well, we have you know, and you're not quite there. Maybe right. credit's not there, income's not quite there. Well, we may have another option for you with our one of our rent to own programs. So you know, I'll put a link in this description below. Contact us. We'd love to help you out, and right. we'd love to get you started on that path to home ownership. Right. All right, Colorado Springs, have a great day. Bye-bye.